So question 9b of the past paper, we need to multiply two decimals to equal 0.06. Now, my first thought was, hey, it's just going to be 0.02 and 0.03, but they actually make each other smaller. So when that ends up being like 0.0006 or something like that. So for me, I thought the easiest way to visually represent this was with fractions. So I converted 0.06 into a fraction, which is just 6 over 100. Then from there, I was like, okay, well, what's going to be on the top to make 6, well we can do 3 times 2, and on the bottom we can do 10 times 10 because that equals 100. And then as you can see here, we can just split that in half and then we have our two fractions. So for example, we have 3 times 2 on top, 10 times 10 on the bottom. Now we split those apart because they're both being multiplied together. So, now, so therefore we have 3 over 10 times 2 over 10, which we can work out as 6 over 100. So for me, I just converted these fractions into decimals, which is quite easy. 3 over 10 is 0 0.3 and then 2 over 10 is is 0.2. Now hopefully that made sense, hopefully that was clear, I just thought that was a better way to approach it considering, you know, when you're trying to multiply decimals together, at least for me, I find that hard to visualise and yeah, I hope that helped, best of luck with your maths and thanks for watching the video.